Hi, I'm Nelson Nunnally from Ravenscroft School in Raleigh, North Carolina. And I'd like to show you one of the ways I use LabVIEW in the high school classroom. So many of us have had mood rings, which can magically show you your mood based on the color of the ring. More accurately, probably the color of the ring reflects the temperature of your hand. So I had a couple of students last year who had a really cool take on this. They set up a webcam and imagine that you're looking at a live video feed of yourself on the computer screen. At the same time you're looking at that, that live video, you grab onto a temperature probe, which is connected through a Vernier Lab Pro unit. And so as you hold onto that temperature probe, your, your temperature of your hand changes, and so the live video feed starts to change as well, maybe in predictable and maybe not so predictable ways. So really this is a video mood ring, and with the help of a couple of peripherals, a webcam, and a Vernier Lab Pro, LabVIEW can do this. To demonstrate this program, I'm going to need the help of Mr. Sammy Sosa, who was a pretty hot commodity back in the late 1990s. So let's take his temperature back then, and if we watch that rise here in the middle of the screen, we'll see that indeed things were very bright for Sammy back then. So the brightness is controlled by the temperature directly. In fact, things were so good for him back then, I'm actually going to turn this party button on and see what happens. Whoa! Psychedelic. So I'm George, I'm one of the makers of the Party Machine program. So basically how it works, on the back, the temperature gets read in up here through this port, goes down this wire, and when the button is off, the temperature add e adds evenly to the red, here, green, and blue values, increasing the brightness. And then when the button is on, it increases at random intervals in each color, So, which is that is what calls, causes the cha different changes in color. And it adds random intervals of shifting the X and Y value, which is what causes the image to shift left and right. I see a